Hi, I'm Colin. This is a tutorial about how to add IP cameras to our hybrid DVRs. This video is part of a tutorial that's on the website under support and how to add IP cameras to hybrid DVRs. A Windows PC with internet connection is required to configure the IP camera and the DVR should already be set up on your network and have a monitor attached before proceeding. First of all, let's download and install the software search tool. Open a web browser and go to support.y3k.com. Click on Download Center. Select HDIP and then Xvision IP Camera. Now select X2C X1000 and then click on X2C 4000 Search Tool. There's a download link at the bottom of the page, just click on it and it will save it to your computer. Once the file has finished downloading, double click on it to open it, select Run and allow the program to run. And then when the program starts installing, click Next. You can choose where the program's installed. You can put a shortcut and name it. Have a desktop icon and a quick launch icon. Click Install. And when it's installed, click Finish. OK, so when you run the program for the first time, you'll see it searches the network and gives you any devices that are on the network. Here we have two. We have the recorder, and we can tell this is the recorder because the channel number is 10. It's not just a single one, which will be the IP camera, one channel. So this is a recorder, and it's set up on the network, as we've previously discussed, that it should be on the network. So we know this IP address is correct, and if we go across the gateway, which is the router IP address, is very similar. It's 10.0.0.1, and the IP address of the camera is 10.0.0.6. So we know that's the right network, and we need to change this camera to match the, the gateway. And we need to change the IP address to be unique to the camera. So it needs to be 10.0.0.something. OK, so to modify this camera, you click on it and that opens this bottom panel and fills the information in here. So the two parts we need to change are IP and gateway. So the gateway, as we saw a second ago, is 10.0.0.1 and the IP address of the camera is going to be 10.0.0.something. So that's something. What is that something? Uh, now we can see we've got a cam the recorder on 6, so it can't be 6. It needs to be unique to the camera. So just to be safe, I'm going to set it up way up at the top there. 10.0.0.150 um, I'm going to do. 150. OK, now there are tools you can use online for scanning your network to see what IP addresses that are available. Um, I'm sure you can find one that will do that, but just, just move it well away from anything else, put it 50 away from everywhere else and you'll be fine. 150, OK. Um, we've got the gateway set, everything else stays as it is, and we click Modify. It automatically updates, and we've now got 10.0.0.150. And then the gateway, as you see, get matches 10.0.0.1. OK, that's the software done. Now we can now go back to the recorder and add the camera. So now we're looking at the DVR screen. Let's bring up the main menu. So we'll right click, go to the left corner, left click, and then left click on setup. And then click on the channel box, and then select IP channels at the top. That then does a search of the network and will find any cameras on the network. You can see we've got a few here, but the one we're looking at is 150. So I'll click on it, and I'll click Add. Now here is where we can give it a name, call it, uh, I don't know, security, whatever we like here. Um, we've got username put in there, and the default password is admin. And then Add. And you can close this window down now. And you'll see we've now got IP channel 1. We've got a green state button, which means it's online. 
We've got the IP address, all there. So we can now click the X button top right. We've then got the camera added here. And that's it. That completes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made sense. If not, please give us a call or contact us on the little blue button bottom right of the website. Thanks for watching.